Greetings dear ones. This is Archangel Michael. I would like at this time to give you all an exhortation to call for the tube of light, my own blue flame, as well as the violet flame from the heart of Saint Germain, as this is extremely beneficial for your ascension, and for us to obtain permission to intervene and carry out some operations, such as raising your own vibrations, giving you healing, bringing about better situations and conditions, or supply in your lives, as well as causing some changes in the world, and new views to emerge. It is true that humanity has been indoctrinated by many means over a vast range of subjects, that much truth has been suppressed, and that this situation could cause many problems, if we appear, as you would like us to. The reverse is true as well, as we could appear and create some shock to the system of these unbelievers, or those people who have been misled to believe that the Ascended Masters are the dark powers that have plagued the Earth for many thousands of years. They have such theories because they are prejudiced, as they believe Jesus is unique and that no Ascended Master can therefore exist. Furthermore they are misled to believe that the Ascended Masters are Antichrist on the basis of a misinterpretation of Genesis 6. They are convinced that an antichrist will appear in the future when it belongs to the past, and have speculated that if extraterrestrials exist the occupants of the UFOs are those demons. They are ignorant of the fact that some souls of darkness were cast on earth after a galactic battle, and have taken embodiment. They don't understand that evil has been around for thousands of years due to the presence of these dark souls. The event of these souls having been cast on earth has been recorded in the book of Revelation where you read about the symbolic red dragon being cast on earth. It has been explained before that I fashioned a sort of blue flame at the time, and that I approached the priests in the temples of the Lemurian age to warn them about the arrival of these beings via the method of incarnation, so they could prepare because of the effluvia that would emanate from them. It did cause the downfall of the civilization of Atlantis. These souls of darkness were hateful towards the light and were black magicians who had a previous existence. They sabotaged the plan of ascension and it had to be aborted. Having greater intellectual abilities than their parents, they rose up in power and recreated the technology they had in a former embodiment. Their parents had volunteered to provide bodies for them, to have them as their children, following the destruction of their world. Their parents were gentle, spiritual, and not yet affected by any notion of materialism, technology, or intellectualism. The Dark Ones took control, and worked their way up the political leadership of the Lemurian and Atlantean priest kings, then separated from the Lemurian motherland. That is when all hell broke loose in the old world. These souls that misused the powers they inherited from their fathers the sons of God, were the progeny that were referred to as the Fallen Ones, or Nephilim. In those days the sons of God entered into union with some daughters of man located on the last island of Atlantis, called Poseidonus. The sons of God, were of a superior class that still dwelled in the consciousness of the fifth dimension and had corresponding powers, and the progeny of the sons of God were not all incarnations of those evil souls called Nephilim. The powers of the light are working to bring about an awakening which in turn will provide the perception and vision that is enlightened. They operate under higher dimensional authorities and include in their ranks the Chods, Mahatmas, and Ascended Masters referred to globally as the Great White Brotherhood. So, you see, when it is time for you to experience a supernatural contact, or telepathic communication, it is not from extraterrestrials, but from the higher dimensions. You know the masters do not like to cause a confrontation about truths before it is time to do so, or even before a messenger is ready to receive them, or even to consider them. They are tolerant in the extreme and operate in ways that you would regard as very unconventional. That particular group of researchers who speculate that the extraterrestrials appearing in the sky are Antichrist have been spreading the rumor that the Ascended Masters are the fallen angels that they previously said were roaming the earth as demons. Yet there is nothing in the teachings of the Ascended Masters that is not good, or that is against Christ. Well to the contrary. We recognize the fact that there is a universal Christ consciousness, and that the path of ascension consists in integrating this consciousness. It leads to a freedom and resurrection from mortality. 
These researchers do not perceive the fact that it is the cosmic Christ that is unique, or that could be called the only Son of God. One of their reasoning is that the sons of God of Genesis 6 also were Nephilim, or fallen angels, and they do not understand that it was the progeny of those sons of God, that caused the corruption of the old world. The sons of God had an angelic nature but were not angels, and the Nephilim were human beings who fell into corruption. Now they imagine that a threat will come from the sky, whether this platform of life, or realm, is enclosed, or not. But, my friends, evil came from below, where it was bound in chains. Remember Christ said I am from above and that meant from heaven, the higher dimensions, which your physical eyes cannot perceive. There is no antichrist figure in the sky, it has been among you for a long time. And to the dear ones who believe in Antichrist, as well as its appearance in the future, I say, you have been blind, believing that the evil of the world was a normal state. You have not recognized it as this Antichrist. It has been around you for a long time, preventing peace and keeping you in a matrix of bondage from which I have been liberating you. I would like to say that we are considering a number of operations to open the minds of the people and that it is inevitable that they will cause a divergence in opinion. It is part of that birth process in consciousness that will bring change, as well as what the timelines will bring when the time has come for the serious work to begin. Looking forward to it, as I said before, we are working together for a project of resurrection. And I am with you always, Archangel Michael.